May the 8th, 2012. We're looking at the uh, colorized HMI camera from the uh, steel platform, which is our facing guys. This is Sunspot 1476. Now you can see the different colors in that, and that represents your different types of magnetic fields. Now, what they've done, they've we've got two Earth-facing CMEs that have left the sun, it says. A pair of solar eruptions on May 7th hurled coronal mass ejections towards Earth. It says, prepared by an analyst at the Goddard Space Weather Lab suggests that clouds will arrive in succession on May 9th at 1340 Universal Time and May 10th at 754 Universal. So you're about 14 hours apart there. It says the double impact could spark moderate geomagnetic storms. It says high latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras. Now, again, this is a large sunspot. Let's pull this down and look at the uh, entire surface. It's pretty clean as far as sunspots. You've got some small ones here, but guys, this thing uh, is one to watch each day. It's brought the chance of M class flares up and the uh, class, the chance for X class flares. That has risen to 10% in the next 24 to 48 hours, so we've got to watch those X class. Guys, you can see these filament releases if you watch close in this area that's caused the CMEs. Now, when they're directly earth-facing, it's harder to see them than if they come off one of the limbs. If you watch this area there, that's one. The other is from a flare here. Again, this is the 1476. Now, on the first page of the website, the flare tracker is right there. You just click on that. That'll take you to this NASA site. But you can see the uh, action here. Now, again, they're saying that uh, the first one will arrive the, the, on May the 9th at 1340 UT, May the 10th at 754 UT, plus or minus seven hours. And it's usually in the latter part of that plus or minus seven hours. But this is what we're dealing with. You saw those filaments. The timestamp is here. You can pause the video and step it, and you can see the exact timing here. But again, these are computer generated, and they're plus or minus seven hours. Guys, one other thing I'd like to mention is the elections in Greece and France have practically overturned the willingness of the government to go along with Germany austerity plans. Germany has turned into the European Union's paymaster, and Angela Merkel now, is, she looks berserk in some of the pictures, saying that they must stay in with the bailout plan. They cannot get out. And guys, why is all that going on? Have you thought about it? Every time someone sell, uh, signs in for a bailout there with Germany, everything goes straight downhill. Jobs, the economy, everything goes down. And it's they now they don't want them to come out they don't want greece out they don't want france out but uh, it's going to be very interesting to watch what happens because if the uh, governments get arranged and they t tell germany no what is next guys don't <coughs> forget world war one and world war two it's a heads up y'all be safe